In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four racing options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've used this particular icon and when I click, it will show the four options with the different color combinations where I've added the, the option number, the title and the detailed text. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to the insert, click on the icons. In the icons type the word which is run. And you can see this particular icon I'm going to choose which is a kind of a person running. Click on insert and the icon got inserted. So now I'm going to increase the size by holding the shift key. You can see here, just hold the shift key and increase the size. So depending on the requirement, you can increase it. So I'm going to move more towards the right side and then the graphic format. I'm going to give this as a red color and then there's one more thing which I would like to do is I would like to convert this to a shape. So go to the graphic format and convert to shape and then right mouse click group you can ungroup this and if you want you can just bring it more closer also here all right and then the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to change the background color of the slides so i'm going to give some kind of a gray color and then i'm going to insert the options again make sure that uh, you move it more towards the right side so that we have got enough options to write our text so go to the insert shapes i'm going to the basic shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the parallelogram draw a parallelogram from the you can see here at this point shape outline make it no outline and height i'm going to make this as one and you can see the small orange point just drag this inside it becomes more curved and move it here all right i'm just going to put it here align it perfectly and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d add one more again make sure that you should not overlap something like this let me just give some different color for better understanding so i'm going to keep a little bit of gap here again make sure that this should not go like this all right and then press ctrl d to duplicate and again duplicate so you can see here i have given the same uh, distance between the objects and once this is done the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this part so before that one let me just duplicate this slide okay if there's something go wrong we have the original slide with us okay so now i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select the head and then one two three four all right and then go to the shape format merge shape and select the fragment once this is done i'm going to duplicate this one more time you know this particular shape i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to delete all these things and then go to the slide where we have did the fragment so i'm going to select this 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 and this Control c and Control v so you can see here it has become something like this all right so now I can just give any color of my choice. You can see here I can just give any color. Go to the shape format, fill. I'm just giving some different color combinations here. Any color which you feel, you can just add any color of your choice. So it looks something like this. You can see here. All right. So we don't need this one because already we have done this one. If you want to keep it for the future reference, we can keep it. Okay. So now let's go here. So you can see here our uh, this particular options we have added here. And again, if you'd like to add more, you know, uh, effects to it, you can do that also. For example, let me just select this one. Press Control D. I can give some different color. Again, any color of your choice. I'm going to give maybe uh, somewhat uh, lighter colors here and move it at the corner you can see here and then send this to back go to the shape format send to back so it gives you more kind of a uh, this design effect okay again if you want to give some different color it's up to you for example i would like to give uh, maybe a color which is more lighter 
you can see here I can just give any color and give the same gap over here and send this to back so again depending on the requirement you can increase the size okay you can just keep it like this so like the way I did here you can see here I've given some different colors here so similar colors also you can just give again press ctrl D give some different color all right and then move it here this is all again if you don't want you can just remove it not a problem with that all right again send this to back and then the last one also I can just uh, do the same thing and I'm going to give a kind of more lighter color and send this to back okay this is just some design elements we are giving again if you want you can just give more gaps also here all right so once this is done the next thing which you would like to do is add the options here okay so the options will be option the number option number which is 01 and i'm going to make this as a bold center or left align only increase the size and maybe a white font because it is more visible and then go to the insert text box and equals lorem within brackets if you want to give you can give some header also okay so now let me just make the font color as white reduce the font size all right and then align it properly you can see here and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate move it or something like this so this is my second option this is my third option and this is my fourth option so this is my option number two option number three and option number four all right so you can see here some basic designs already we have completed like again if you like to give this kind of icons and some kind of a ribbon which is crossing that also can be done for that go to the insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose which is the free form shape you can see here i'm just going to make it something like this till here you can see and move it and i'm going to move it something and attach it okay and then you can just give any color of your choice so i'm going to give a kind of purple here i would like to give a feeling that uh, this one uh, it should be you know it's, it's just crossing the the finish line and is breaking this particular ribbon kind of thing again if you like to edit this one you can just edit the points and do that one also okay so this is once this is done select this one duplicate and i'm going to just rotate it you can see here and we have not done it properly so again let me just delete this part i would like to do it more nice way so let me just select the freeform shape starting from here go straight line you can see here again something like this and attach this one all right give the same color no outline and then i would like to make one more using this particular shape again the free form shape which goes from here again make it and same color no outline and send this to back so as if it is you know this particular person is breaking the barrier again if you want to give some kind of picture effect also you can just give that one also okay some satin pictures or whatever you can just use that one so once this is done it's time to make some animation again if you like to use the same thing or if you like to do some animations or morph transitions that also can be done so to give some morph transition effect what i'm going to do is let me just group this one press ctrl g you can see here i'm just selecting these options and i'm going to group this here also hold the shift key and select each one and press ctrl g to uh, group this all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this slide and go to this particular slide i'm just going to move it more smaller and move out of this you can see here move of the slide area it should not be visible you can see here this also 
this as well and this also should be above this one and again this one here i'm going to move this here all right so now i'm going to select the second slide here go to the transitions and i'm going to select the morph transitions and here i'm going to make it very fast maybe 0.75 seconds so if i just play it looks something like this you can see here so it depends on the requirement how you want to use if you want to give some different animation effects also uh, you can give that